What's up guys, how's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys top 15 iOS 17 jailbreak tweaks that are Palerine compatible. As always, tweaks discussed in this video are down below in the description. Anyway guys, let's get into it. Velvet 2 is an awesome notification tweak that initially was paid in its first run, however, the developer has since made it free. This tweak runs flawlessly on iPadOS 17 and there's various different notification styles that you can select. I can colorize my notifications by app and make them look more square or more rounded and there's just a bunch of other customizations that you can do. Action Button Enabler brings the iPhone 14 Pro's exclusive action button menu to older devices. Obviously on older devices there is no physical action button, so the action button menu is mapped to the device's home button. Just like the real thing, there's various different actions that you can perform. There's a focus mode so you can turn do not disturb on and off. And there's various other actions you can do as well. If you're curious about all the actions this tweak can do, I actually did a separate dedicated video on Action Button Enabler and I show how to install it and all these various different actions that come included. My Scrolling Bars allows you to customize the scrolling bar that you see when you scroll up and down on web pages and different applications on your device. It works well in light mode and in dark mode, and you can see I have a blue scrolling bar as I'm scrolling, and it just looks really cool. Stella is a really cool tweak that adds snow effects on your home screen and lock screen. In the past, there were other tweaks like Snowverlay that did this. This time of year, a tweak like this is a must install for me, and at 99 cents, this is really awesome. It just makes your device look really festive for the holiday season, and I really enjoy it. However, if free tweaks are more your speed, you can check out Fallen, the free alternative. With this tweak being a free alternative, you miss out on some features. The snow does not persist on the home screen and there are no additional options to configure. With Stella, there is a settings page and you can completely customize it. Okay, this one is really, really cool. Animated SF symbol just animates a bunch of different UI elements on your device. All of the icons in my control center view are animated. This is a really, really cool visual tweak that adds a nice little flair on your UI elements. I was surprised at the amount of things that are animated here. This tweak visually is pretty cool just because it feels like your device is more alive with these animations. The battery health view in settings is really useful and this was something Apple added years ago but for some reason this never made its way to iPad. This tweak adds this functionality to iPad. However, it's probably important to note that the numbers you're seeing here might not be 100% accurate because this is not a feature that was directly enabled on iPad. According to the developer, optimized battery charging also does not work, but this is a pretty cool thing. With this tweak, when you turn your volume all the way down, your music stops playing, and when you turn the volume back up, it starts playing again. Detected text brings Apple's live text functionality to older devices inside of the camera app. Navigating this is pretty simple. Once you have this mode selected, just go ahead and select any text you want and go ahead and copy and paste it. Stampad brings the iPhone standby feature to iPad. I haven't personally used an iPhone on iOS 17 yet, so this is my first look at this feature and this is really, really cool. The standby feature is meant for dark environments and in this dark environment, it does look really cool. There's various different widgets that you can select. So I have the clock and the calendar selected right now, and you could just swipe through the widgets to get a different view. Incoming notifications also look really nice with this feature as well. New Battery 16 adds the dynamic battery icon that Apple added to older devices and older iOS versions. For whatever reason, this feature was not added on iPad, so this tweak adds this feature. Spring Animations gives your device some animations when opening and closing apps. There's an animation when opening the app switcher as well, and this is all customizable from the settings. When you open an app, the home screen kind of does a little spin. It might be hard to see it at first, but it actually looks really, really cool. Close all adds a close all app button in your app switcher. If you want to close out of all your apps, just tap the close button and there you go. Now all of your apps are closed. This tweak allows you to have a bunch of various different quick actions right at your fingertips. When you swipe up, you get various different toggles. You can see there's control center toggles. And now when I swipe over, I have application shortcuts. You can customize that. There's also respring, reboot, and stuff like that. And here is your now playing interface. Yes, this tweak is paid, but at 249, I think you're actually getting a pretty decent value in terms of what this tweak can offer you. 
Of course, for quick actions, Control Center exists and it's existed for 10 years. But this tweak goes beyond simple quick actions and it just looks really nice as well. There's also a full settings page where you can completely customize the tweak. This tweak automatically renames whatever folder you go into to whatever your current device's battery percentage is. Honestly, never would have thought of this concept before, but it actually kind of makes sense because the status bar isn't viewable from the folder view. You can see that my device is at 49% and it shows it right there. You can also go inside of an application from the folder and when you back out, you're back to the home screen immediately without you having to go back into the folder. And this tweak is one of the reasons I wanted a Palerain iPad. Enable Stage Manager brings the Stage Manager feature to older unsupported iPads. You can use it just like the older stage manager feature in newer iPads, and it makes me wonder why this feature wasn't brought to older iPads, if it works functionally pretty much exactly the same. With this tweak, just take a sip of your coffee and you'll be ready to get productive. Sadly, this tweak is 99 cents, but for what you're getting, it's definitely well worth the price. I think there are some free alternatives and free methods that might be available at some point in the future, so look out for those down below in the description. You can even airplay it to your favorite computer. External monitor support through HDMI probably does work, but I haven't tried that yet. If you want to repurpose an older iPad and start using it for productivity, this tweak definitely will help you out. Unfortunately for me, since this is a 2017 iPad, I probably won't get much productivity out of it because it's too old to really do much editing on, but still, it's really, really cool, and I might use it to write down things for future videos. Anyway guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. That was top 15 iOS 17 Palerain and Jailbreak tweaks. If you enjoyed today's video, please let me know by hitting that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell, so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace.